Glass minnow flies are sparsely tied flies that are sort of see-through to mimic the glass minnow. This one is tied with bucktail. For a hook, I am using this wide gap Gamagatsu SC15 in size 1 aught. Start a heavy thread like this Danville 210 flat waxed right behind the eye of the hook. Wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook. Now attach a flat diamond braid or even a saltwater size flashaboo could work. Wrap back up towards the eye of the hook, but stop just about two eye lengths shy. If you are using a full rotary, make a half hitch and rest your bobbin on the bobbin holder. Then proceed to make touching wraps with the diamond braid up the hook shank. And stop where you stopped your thread. Then capture the braid with tight wraps and cut off the excess. Now build a little hump with your thread. This will help to flare the bucktail up. Measure, prepare, and cut a thin chunk of bucktail to about double the length of the hook shank. For more information on preparing bucktail, click the bucktail link at the top of the video or in the description section. Attach the bucktail clump to the hook, right past the lump. Make very tight wraps to help flare the bucktail up. Now clip a few strands of fine flashaboo and attach it in the center of the clump. Then fold over the other side and attach that angled rearward as well. Measure, prepare, and cut another chunk of bucktail in the same manner. And attach that right in front of your previous bucktail chunk. As you can see, the bucktail is flared up a bit, which is what you want. It also helps to select hairs at the bottom of the bucktail which tends to flare a bit easier. Then smooth out and build a head on the fly. And now you can whip finish your fly. Now you could fish the fly like it is, but I like adding eyes to the fly. These eyes have adhesive backs, which I find are easier to work with. Just attach them on either side of your fly's head and make sure they are perfectly even. The final step is to use some resin on the head and eyes to secure them. I like taking this in steps. Just add a drop on the top of the eyes, then cure that. Then add a drop on the bottom of the eyes and cure that in as well. The formula I am using today is made by Solarez and is their bone dry formula. It can be applied using the built in brush and as you saw it cures very quickly. To really secure everything in place, I like making one last pass with the bone dry. This will put a thin coating over the eyes and really make sure this fly is durable for multiple hard strikes. And there we have it, a simple and easy glass minnow pattern tied with bucktail. As you can see, it's quite transparent in the water and moves very well. It also sinks even and flat, like a fish would. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check out my website for more videos at mcflyangler.com. Now go catch some fish.